Hi, Mr. P here, and welcome back to the channel. Are you revising the fantastic Purple Hibiscus by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie for exams, maybe for term papers? If so, hopefully this short series of micro videos looking at symbolism and motifs will be helpful for you. As ever, if you like what you see, then do subscribe. And if you've got any questions at all, please just put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. So just a quick reminder that symbolism is an object, a person, a situation, or an action that suggests or represents other meanings beyond the literal. In the novel, then, the figurines are really important, I think. Obviously, Mama loves the ballet dancer figurines that are kept on the etagere um, in the living room. Her act of cleaning them after she's beaten by Papa is a way where she kind of tries to get over the physical and emotional trauma. When Papa throws the missile and breaks them, this is a symbolic and important moment in the novel, as we'll see. Mama decides that she won't need to fix or replace them. And at that point, has Mama decided to no longer put up with Papa's violence? In some ways, this is kind of similar to Jaja's journey to greater independence and defiance of Papa as the novel continues. So let's look at four important quotes. The first one is from chapter one. Things started to fall apart at home when my brother Jaja did not go to communion and Papa flung his heavy missile across the room and broke the figurines on the etagere. Well, the figurines are easily broken and vulnerable, so they might be seen as symbolic of the silence and passivity of Mama Kambili and Jaja. When they're broken by Papa's missile, Mama says they kind of don't need replacing and it shows that there might be a change ahead for uh, the family. In chapter three, after uh, Mama has the miscarriage, Mama stood hugging herself in the center of the living room near the glass table. The etagere had three shelves of delicate glass and each one held beige ballet dancing figurines. Mama started at the lowest layer polishing both the shelf and figurines. She slowly ran the cloth over a figurine, one of its matchstick sized legs raised high in the air before she spoke. Well, Mama's act of polishing the delicate figurines after losing the baby, which as you know, is as a consequence of Papa's violence, is kind of particularly touching for us as readers. The fig figurines might represent Mama, Jadra and Kambili and the way in which they in which she will take care of the family. The matchstick sized legs might symbolize just how vulnerable and fragile the family currently are due to Papa's domestic abuse. In chapter 14, after Jaja's defiance of Papa, we get when Mama asks Sissy to wipe the floor of the living room to make sure no dangerous pieces of figurines were left lying somewhere. She did not lower her voice to a whisper. She did not hide the tiny smile that drew lines at the edge of her mouth. She did not sneak Jaja's food to his room. Well, with the figurines gone, Mama wishes to make sure that all remnants are removed, like the remnants of Papa's violence and domestic abuse. Adichie shows there is increasing freedom now as Mama did not hide the tiny smile and did not sneak Jaja's freedom. Did not repeat it there. Um, Papa's control clearly over the family at this point in the novel is weakening. Then in chapter 16, after Papa's death, sat in the living room where the ballet dancer figurines used to be, I sat with Jaja in our living room staring at the space where the etagere had been, where the ballet dancing figurines had been. Well, with Papa dead, Kambili and Jaja and Mama are free and no longer vulnerable. Adichie emphasizes this through the fact that the etagere and the figurines are gone. The repetition of had been might serve to show us that Papa and his domestic abuse are now gone. It used to be such a part of the family, but is no longer oppressing them and they have space and freedom at last. Okay, well, hope that's been a little bit useful for you. If you want more help with revising Purple Hibiscus, I've done a bunch of other videos, so please do check those out. And if you want to get new content to really help you ace your English, then please do hit up that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Look forward to seeing you 
next time on the channel and have a really great day, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.